got myself in trouble uh, legally with, with the law and stuff like that. And then I ended up getting a divorce or whatever, stuff like that. And me and my wife, we separated. Uh, but she, she went back to St. Louis and stuff, and then I ended up lo losing my home. Probably about two years ago, got a DUI. And I owned my own company at the time, so you know, and it's remodeling work. You have to be able to drive. Um, did, I think, six months altogether in jail. Um, and that was basically the end of the remodeling company. So I went from making 150000 a year to nothing. No job, lack of education, uh, problem with my family. I thought I'd hang around the wrong crowd. and. Well, I wound up with 44 years of penitentiary. I was very young, and uh, he was older and made everything sound kind of nice, and it didn't end up that way. Living on the streets is real tough. Uh, it's like uh, we ha uh, not having a place to go and nothing like that not having a place to eat, and uh, not even to lay my head down at night while I'd be able to rest and stuff. The first couple weeks living in a tent was fun. Um, you know, I got to go out there and build things and set up tents and tarps and firewood and all that, but uh, after the first couple storms, it was, uh, you start to realize and things that this is not, it's not fun. Being on the streets, not only in Virginia Beach, but anywhere, especially being a single female, is very scary, not knowing, you know, who's around, places you go to for either food or clothing, who's going to follow you back to your camp, and worrying about your stuff, and... I thought hanging down the beach, drinking alcohol, and running, in, running the streets, and they fit in with the right group, and they got to do what they do. That's what I was doing. My worst day on the street is uh, when Warner came. I didn't have nowhere to stay. And it, it seemed to be a snowstorm and a northeaster. And everywhere I went, I, just, I was just cold and freezing. So. I was walking around and at that point didn't know where we were going to stay. The night that I, I slept at a church or whatever, stuff like that, and uh, I was interrupted by, by, I was waking up by Virginia Beach Police Department or whatever and telling me that I was, I was loitering in this place and that I had to move. Scariest day I ever had on the street was probably when I broke my knee and I was pretty much alone. Um, in the tent in the woods. The first time I came to Penn, I was a little overwhelmed by all the people there. Uh, I had no clue that there were that many homeless people in Virginia Beach. Um, and I just, you know, I couldn't believe that the services were there for them. Because I mean, I, other places just don't don't help out. There's there's really not a whole lot of services here in Virginia Beach at all. Because I wanted to do the right thing and get back on my feet, and they really they show me and that there's a way to get there. I went to Penn and I found out I could get clothes and go go to church and. I could become a part of something that was, would get me off the streets and try to keep me away from doing the things I was doing. Penn has given me uh, the utmost uh, encouragement for me to, to, to be encouraged about, uh, about life in general. It taught me how to, to, to regain confidence in myself. Penn has helped me do something I never thought I would do. Um, I don't really want to say I found God as he wasn't lost, uh, I was. So 
Um, Penn kind of pointed me in the right direction as far as the Lord was concerned, and he helped me through the rest of it. And he still is. Three years from now, I'd like to see myself either full-time employed again or running my own company again. Um, I'd like to have custody of my children back. Um, that was a big thing for me when I didn't have anywhere. I had to make an emergency plan. I'd like to have a job. Uh, hopefully have my own, own room or place where my family can come visit or my own place where my family can, where I can get my family. To. Three years from now, I see myself um, uh, much more uh, a uh, stronger volunteer in uh, in pen ministry and stuff like that, and hopefully, I'm gonna be able to start my own ministry someday soon. A good job, good home, stability, not worrying about whether I have to move out of where I am or go somewhere else. Mm -hmm.